Tourism has taken a different dimension in the face of globalization and has sustained its yardstick in economic development. Tourism supports one in ten jobs and provides livelihoods for many millions more in both developing and developed economies. <laughs> Governments in some developing nations support and promote tourism due to its high multiplier effect in terms of generating employment, boosting the revenue of the economy, developing infrastructures and increasing foreign exchange earnings. However, in spite of the enormous tourism potentials in Nigeria, the sector's contribution to the economy leaves much to be desired. Tourism is like a magnet that attracts investors. It sells the state, it sells the locality. Tourism makes people have a need, an opportunity to go and see for themselves. And it also expose and develop the locality. It also creates employment opportunities for the indigenous. A lot of countries thrive just on tourism. It's a sector that is very, very important to the people because it attracts non-indigenous to your locality. Tourism is life. The obvious realization of the prime place of tourism has propelled the Okawa-led administration in Delta State to dedicate ample time and resources to educating, promoting and sustaining the tourism potentials in the state. Aside from being an oil-rich state, Delta is also blessed with great tourism potentials and host to some of the most fascinating tourist attractions in the South-South region of Nigeria. Delta State is becoming number one in terms of tourism. Looking at the Landa Brother uh, Anchorage, uh, it's located in Delta State. Where the Bible fell, it's in Delta State. The Finn Village is located in Delta State. So we want to use this opportunity to invite everyone to come to Delta State and see the governor is doing much. He is the best governor in Nigeria, looking at all the infrastructure that is on ground. The Delta State governor is doing something very, very well as regards uh, tourism because I know some time ago we had people came in from far and near to come and go around the state and find out those tourist attractions that are of their own benefit. You can still get some artifacts. You can buy and take home and say, ah, I got this from Delta State. Apart from measures to tap into these potentials and further diversify the state's economy, Governor Fanyokoa commenced the building of key infrastructures such as the Film Village and Leisure Park, revamping of the Landa Brothers Anchorage, upgrade and the concession of the Asaba International Airport, good road networks, renovating of the Stephen Keshe Stadium and lots more. These infrastructural innovations will no doubt enable a smooth flow of tourism adventures in the state. Tourism is key in a non-oil economy. The uninitiated will say, what is there in a thin village? If you know Hollywood, what income comes to that state in the US, you'll be shocked. That's the kind of thing we are trying to recreate here. And by the time the revenue will start coming, the initiator would have left office as a governor. That is again building for the future. All over the world, tourism is big business because it's always a revenue booster. It helps to stimulate the economy. The administration of his excellence in Senator Dr. Ifanyo Atokoa has done quite a lot to drive that area with the ongoing construction of the film village. I believe that um, what Hollywood has been able to do for the economy of California, the film village in Delta State here will be able to do the same. The world-class entertainment center being built by the administration is gradually taking shape and becoming a reality as it births a twin project in one the leisure park and the film village. There are several facilities here that will uh, make a film village 
Uh, we have a, a big amphitheater here. We have restaurants, we have clinics, we have hostels, we have guest house. And we also created an artificial lake within the leisure park. And we have giant wheels too. And one unique feature that we, you should look out for here is the 10-story building observation tower. That you can climb up and you can see the whole city. When we complete uh, this project, a lot of people open Delta State to the world. Film Village coming in, you will find that you have a one-stop shop for production in Delta State, which is good for our employment, our youth, and uh, market the state basically as a tourist hub. And next to it, you just have the leisure park there, which will grow the industry, entertainment, and the hospitality and the leisure industry. You can see the development. It's there. It's visible. Despite the paucity of funds as a result of the economic downturn in the country, Governor Koa has shown resilience and great commitment in completing and inaugurating this legacy project, which has driven the constant inspection of the ongoing project by the government and other private bodies. Three or four meters higher than outside. Oh, we had to check the water. Yes. Yeah. So that was what took us a lot of time to get this place ready. But now that we are done, put the stuff down. Quality of the work is good, but there is a need to put speed. The timing of a thing is very important. If this place gets fully functional before the middle of December, it's going to add a lot of value because that is the time people actually want to go out to the leisure parks, they want to come in. Uh, to see the things that they have in town. We also went to the section that has been demarcated out for the zoo and we can see that some work is going on. They've been delayed, no doubt, by the COVID pandemic, but it's my hope uh, that they need to add speed to what they're doing. Tourism is acknowledged across the globe as a powerful vehicle for economic growth and job creation. In fact, the recent report released by the World Trade and Tourism Council, WTTC, indicates that tourism is directly responsible for 9.1% of the global GDP. It is on the strength of this hard to ignore statistics, Governor Power of Delta State deployed substantial funds to develop critical infrastructures and has formulated policies to work private investors to help fast-track the tourism development in the all-rich South-South state. The film village and leisure park are expected to create a lot of economic activities and also serve as a recreational center for both tourists and host communities. When fully operational, the city of Asaba will advance to become the hub of the movie industry and Nollywood stars in Nigeria and Africa at large. It will also create more opportunities for Deltans in the entertainment industry. The project looks very good, very ambitious, and these are the kind of projects that we want to see because Delta is known for Nollywood. There should be something of this nature, if not bigger than this. And what is it going to do? First, uniting people and then generating revenue for government. Because going forward now, all of us are saying oil can no longer take us to where we want to go. We need to diversify. This is an example of diversification. It's a one-stop shop for any form of recreation and the entertainment industry. You heard about the film village. That's the Nollywood headquarters here. So obviously, this is going to realize the potentials already in the state concerning entertainment. It will attract uh, uh, tourism to come to Delta State. Uh, I'm not a Deltan, but when I get to Delta, I see how important this uh, project if completed, will definitely generate um, a lot of revenue for the state. Not long ago, the leadership of the Association of Movie Producers of Nigeria, AMP, toured the Entertainment Center and acknowledged Governor Ifanyo Kowa as their first to provide the industry with a well-structured edifice that will support Nollywood and get them to compete with their international counterparts for any kind of movie production. As I was coming to the premises, I said, this is like coming to the promised land. Because uh, for so long, the Vasco's, where are they? Where in Nollywood? So I want to tell the world, yes, we have Nollywood in place right now. 
Nollywood is being developed by His Excellency Governor Okowa. So if you want to come to Nollywood, come to Asaba. This is where it's happening. This is a visionary project. Um, it will alter the practice in itself uh, of the industry. It's a really, really great thing. Congratulations. This is a legacy. Posterity will speak well of you. Uh, kudos to you. Uh, thank you very much for giving Nollywood a new name. Smart Delta. See how Governor Okowa renovates and improves Delta state transport sectors. That's what I talk about now. Uh, oh, oh, Mark, call you back. Mark, call you back. Uh, Francis. Paul. You did travel? <laughs> no, I come back. Come look your face. <laughs> no, mind me. They don't tell where I reach area. I say make I go see my people. Hey, yeah. Nice one. Safe trips, eh? All right now. See how Delta State Road smooths. Yes, so Governor Power understands say good road they help transportations and transportations they improve economy. Me, I testify you the way Governor Kowa take and transport sectors for Delta State, it don't make job there available for many people. Transportation now one of Governor Kowa's smart agenda. And it don't link our communities, also improve our economy. Hey! My picking, you don't arrive. <laughs> yes, so Mama, Governor Okowa, road constructions and input to transportations for Delta State don't make transportation sweet and smooth. Hey, Governor Okowa, turning Delta State into a Bodoibo. Smart Delta. Governor Ifanya Kowa in a bid to provide all-round development for both individual and societal advancement in the tourism sector has provided a sustainable platform for talent development in the state, which has led to the execution of massive talent development programs. One of such programs is the Made in Delta All-Stars Grassroots Talent Hunt, a search that discovered top 10 talents out of over 318 talents that participated from all the three territorial districts of Delta State. Among these talents were musicians, comedians, actors, and actresses. No one cares. The pain is under my skin. The pain that is rippling at me and tearing me apart. I had a gambling problem. Everyone in the family knows this about me except you. And they know I put myself in check a long time ago. Anything this competition has done for me, sir, it has given me a broad spectrum on how the rich live. Rich people, their lifestyle different. God. Rich people, we went to pay courtesy visit to some rich people. So we went to see the billionaire himself here. I noticed that for the rich people, less is more. But for the poor, more is more. I will prove it to you. When we went to his house, what color? Big mansion, only white. Outside white, inside white, roof white. My father, if you come our house, parlor blue. Our kitchen purple. My father room blue. Again, our room red, full house coming like shrine. Small money when I never have one with self. My pastor don't add me for church building WhatsApp group. Poverty no good. Forget this dressing when I dress come. Last week when I go open accounts for Zenith Bank, me and my younger brother and I follow. As I they feed the form, I can't reach next of kin. I can't write my brother's name, write my brother's like account so wrong. I say why? He say if I die, we see in one clip. While addressing these top 10 talents in Government House Asaba, Governor Fanyokoa revealed his commitment to ensuring that young talents in Delta State are presented with the opportunity to develop themselves and be positively engaged. It comes with a lot of joy to me, but more so that in going through the auditions in the three centers in the state, that several of our youth actually came out and wanted to participate. We're happy with what you're doing. We hope that you have greater successes with our support and do realize that 
yes, there is a need for government to uh, support you. There is a need to call on private sector to support you. But the support that comes from the inside, which is your commitment, your zeal to be able to succeed, and the character of your person, is what we truly, truly enjoy you to the people and will carry you to great heights. His Excellency the Governor has just given us another moral lift and motivation for them to work harder and also telling the world that Delta State is ready to bring some of the finest musicians, comedians and also actors. Their talent will speak for them because talent is, is a new crew. It's amazing. Smart Delta Media crew spoke with some of these young talents. They showed their skills with excitement as the top 10 winners appreciated Governor Fanyokoa for giving them a platform to harness their talents in entertainment. If you give me small rights, if you give me small things, if you give me one, one more, I go manage on. <laughs> Thank you so much to Governor Koa for this amazing opportunity. Thank you so much. It feels so good that we can dream and our dreams can actually come true through a platform like this. Thank you so much and we're grateful. I'm a ventriloquist. I make people laugh with my puppets. It's not the only puppet. I don't want you. Wow, it's like a dream come true. I really, really am grateful to the governor and to the organizers of this Medi Delta, Delta Talent Search. And I know it's a stepping stone for me in my career as a comedian, as a ventriloquist and as an artist. I'm grateful to God and to our prestigious governor, Okowa, for this great opportunity. Recently, the state's Directorate of Culture and Tourism joined the rest of the globe in hosting the 2021 World Tourism Day. Smart Delta Media team with their roving lens attended the event and captured Deltans in their different cultural attires, dancing and showcasing their cultural heritage. There was a cultural interlude by the drama troupe that highlighted the theme of the event, Tourism for Inclusive Growth. cannot just uh, be celebrating uh, tourism in the air. You have to really attract tourists to make uh, the world tourism complete. So what we are doing in Delta State in line with the smart agenda is to try to identify, first of all, some of these uh, tourist sites and develop them. We have our tire, we have our cuisines that are all encompassed in our cultural heritage. So we try to showcase each and every one of them. Governor Ifanyokoa recently approved the development and management of the Landa Brothers Anchorage in Asaba, another smart initiative. The said Anchorage is a historic site essentially built in memory of the Landa Brothers, Richard and John Landa, one site that brings in thousands of tourists and offers a glimpse of the pre-colonial era. We are going to uplift this place and make it more business uh, oriented so that the state can generate revenue from it. I want to thank Senator Dr. Ifai Yokoa for an opportunity to come and revamp, remodel and operate this place for a period of time. We want to assure the people of Delta State that this will change the face of tourism. Smart Delta media team visited the Landa Brothers Anchorage and took shots of these pleasurable sites that have captivated the interest of the state government. The Anchorage overlooks the River Niger and hosts a burial ground of the Landa Brothers and missionaries, museums and monuments. Smart Delta Transportation additionally contributes to promoting tourism and expanding the state economy. 
Not surprisingly, the Okawa-led administration has already laid the foundation to make Delta State a destination for tourists. The massive construction of over 799 Lincoln roads and bridges in both rural and urban areas have added more impetus to tourism development in the state. Roads are the most important aspect of tourism promotion. In this state, for example, there are many, many tourist attractions, many things we want to show to the world. If you don't have roads and if you don't have security, you probably cannot do anything. Like now, there are many resorts that are opening up everywhere to show the beauty of the landscape, the beauty of our environment. But you've got to reach those places to have benefits or to, have, to enjoy the pleasure of having them there. And so, roads directly impact on anything but tourism development. We're talking about tourism, we talk about good roads. And we know that the Cincinnati, the governor has a remarkable performance in terms of road construction in Delta State. He has uh, constructed a lot of roads across the state in each of the senatorial districts. And because of what we have on ground, whoever that wants to come to Delta State for the purpose of tourism will virtually have no problem because the whole state is accessible. Since inception, his administration has demonstrated a high level of commitment towards creating a favorable ambience and laid down policies that have attracted corporate companies to build hospitality industries and invest their monies in the state. The data people are very, very knowledgeable about tourism and hospitality industry. And that's why the governor has put in place a lot of facilities, a lot of things, a lot of promotions and otherwise that will help the hospitality industry. Banking on that, we felt that Delta State is a destination point because of the work of the government and the people who are in search of realization and entertainment. Delta State is a tourism hub or a tourism destination. People will come here to lodge. People will come here to book our rooms. Once they know that, okay, if I'm going to Delta, I will have a good time, they will come and book our hotel room. It's a plus for the state government. Is a plus for the indigenous of uh, Delta State. The inception of His Excellency in, as Governor of Delta State has opened up the state to more developments, like in our industry, the hospitality industry. It has opened up the opportunities for people to build hotels and all of that. So there's an influx of people. They are now safe to come to Asaba to conduct business. And while they're conducting business, they decide to stay at hotels. The Okawa-led administration has fostered the provision of a safe, reliable, sustainable tourism operation in the three senatorial districts of the state that will best meet the needs of citizens, tourists and commercial investors in the state. This will no doubt boost the state economy and as well increase the tourism potentials in the state. The feedback segment. Question of the day. Now I want to ask, when will they commence the construction of the Landa Brothers Anchorage? Thank you very much, uh, Ogudana Doris, for that uh, lovely question. Uh, the fact is that uh, they've actually uh, commenced work. They mobilized to site at there about uh, August, September. And from that date, they gave us uh, 14 months of completion. I can assure you that uh, by the time the edifice is completed, you're going to be seeing a beautiful edifice within the space of Delta State. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 0812119213 or send with a hashtag accent to all of our social media platforms. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do you better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do I see your job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth say them hila. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potential.